welcome to Yoga Rocks Box. This is Carol Brown who's been teaching at Yoga Rocks this week. Hello. Um, for the first time. So normally I like to try and include some racy questions. But today, Great. <laughs> today we're just going to take it easy. Um, so tell us a little bit, the very boring and obvious question, but tell us a little bit about the kind of yoga you teach and where it comes from and why you like it. Okay. Do you want me to talk to you or to... You can eat those good. Do you edit? Um, like, do we edit? Is this going to be we on there? We sometimes edit. I'm talking about yes, it. Yes, this will be on <laughs> okay, there. Okay, anyway. So I do edit sometimes. <laughs> so I teach Prana Flow, which is a style of vinyasa that was created by Shiva Ray. And it's an energetic alignment-based model using the movements of Prana and how they live and breathe in the body and in nature to create a sense of embodiment through the practice that is non-hierarchical, that's healing, that's fully embodied. And you were saying, I overheard the other day as I walked past class, that you have a, a philosophical background. I do. My undergraduate degree is in philosophy, and then my graduate degree is in holistic counseling, so mental health. Where did, where did the two, where did it all meet? I think it all met with, started with philosophy which started before I started studying it officially. It's just always something that I was drawn to, spirituality, philosophical questions in life. And um, it developed when I was, when I was studying philosophy, I studied Eastern philosophy specifically, and Hinduism was really, really attractive to me. I felt quite comfortable and healed by it, and I think I thought that it was, would be something that you know, many people could benefit from. So I actually started to create this form of counseling called philosophical counseling. And because um, I was avoiding the psychology path, my mom had done that, and it just seemed too Western, and I wasn't really drawn to it. So I did the philosophy, and then my mom told me to start doing yoga, and I said that yoga was a fad, and she said it's a 5,000 year old fad, you should try it. So I did. <laughs> And uh, my mom's right over there. <laughs> She's still with me. She's still doing yoga, and so am I. So then the philosophy and the yoga came to be, you know, the, the full picture came together. And I ended up going to graduate school for mental health, holistic counseling, not just the Western modalities, but alternative modalities. And is that what holistic counseling means? Yeah, it's mental health counseling. It's just body, mind, spirit oriented. So I'm a licensed mental health counselor, but in a, a holistic practice. That incorporates yoga, and you know, yoga incorporates psychology. It just all goes together. So. And where did you find Shiva Ray? And it's Shiva Ray, isn't it, rather Correct. than Shiva Ria? It's not Shiva Ria. No, <laughs> she says that sounds like pizzeria. No, it's yeah, it's Shiva Ray. And um, I, when I first started actually practicing asana, I went and bought some CDs and VHS tapes, and Shiva's was the CD that I bought. So it was really my first practice, and I didn't know who she was, or what the style was, or what the differences between styles were. And out of the ones that I bought, hers was the one I liked the most, and I would travel with it everywhere. I worked for American Airlines at the time, so I could travel as much as I wanted to, and I would always take the CD and little fold-out thing with me. And uh, then I eventually did an Iyengar training in Morocco, and then did a 200-hour Jivamukti style training in Rhode Island. And uh, then I came back around to Shiva. Someone had mentioned that she was going to be at the Yoga Journal Conference with Florida, San Francisco. I took her class. The next year, I was assisting at the same conference. So I've been studying with her for about 10 years. It's been great. And how's it been this week at Yoga Rock? Amazing. It's been wonderful and relaxing and rejuvenating and, and nourishing and fun. Do you think that the atmosphere is being really in nature? Um, do you think that, that goes along with the style? Then? Absolutely. It, it's so easy. And this week I taught um, a lot of, I incorporated the elements in practice a lot. And so it was so simple, so easy to to do because it's everywhere. And you have just it's a full, full spectrum. Do you want to talk right just a little bit about that, about including the elements in the practice? Sure. So we did uh, chakra elementally aligned practice so the first day it made sense to arrive and start with Muladhara or the fourth element. Um, we went after traveling and um, just kind of
kind of getting settled in. I think it felt right for everyone to get grounded, you know, and be structured. And then the next day we embodied more water and creativity. We talked about the psychology of, of the elements and the chakras. And um, where's my mom? <laughs> Here's Carl's mom now. There we go. Hi, mom. <laughs> so, um, and then into the fire element and talking about the self and Manipura. And it just, it's a natural progression. And it seemed to flow with the, the evolution of the week as well, where we all kind of got grounded. And then we just started to feel a little more comfortable and come into ourselves and then express ourselves and be in the space of, you know, the heart space of compassion and. And everyone's come here for a reason, whether they realize it or not, you know, to get away or to just be alone or process something. So I think it just it made an opportunity for people to be where they needed to be. And yeah, because I know someone who says that when people come to yoga, even if they don't realize it, they are looking for something. They're looking for change or just something, even if they're not yeah. quite sure what it is. And I think uh, oftentimes people may show up in yoga physical issues, um, healing an injury or stretching or strengthening or weight or whatever it might be, but I think there's a hook, you know, that gets you after hopefully the first class and we just keep coming back. And it takes a while sometimes for people to realize what it is. Sometimes they don't even want to know, they just want to feel it. But with self-examination and spadiaya, self-study, then, you know, people start to, to see that there's this feeling state of wholeness that yoga gives us. It's a memory that just comes back. We all have that. You know, somewhere along the line we lose track of it and I think yoga helps remind us of the whole feeling state. Um, okay, and hopefully you'll come back next year. Yes, absolutely. Okay. I'm forward to it. So come back next year and experience some kind of flow with Coral Brown. Yeah. So that's yoga it. rocks. That's it. From Yoga Rocks <laughs> Box today. Namaste. Namaste. <laughs>